Hello everybody, as we fly this Hawker 2B here in War Thunder. See how well we can do this. <clears throat> a long time since I've been in a uh, fight. Or done a recording for War Thunder actually, but I am planning on doing more recordings for the YouTube channel starting here now. It's been a while since I've flown this Hawker. Or the Hurricane. Hawker? Why am I saying Hawker? Hurricane 2B. That's what I'm saying. Hurricane to be early solo, possibly other parts of the fight end up with me with somebody else, but for now, we're doing this solo style. And that's not how it Go to self, fly at higher altitude. The plane really isn't too bad. It can be quite maneuverable. The biggest downside is it's only got eight. Well, well, it was 7.7 .7 millimeter gun. Don't have the altitude right to it. That assault. Doing the side climb. We need at least three thousand meters. Bring things correctly. Even then. I dive on somebody way down there.
And I'm sure somebody's probably about to. All right, now that I've killed off all my altitude, let's go find the enemy. Well, I made myself a New Year's resolution, and I've been doing decent on it on part of it. But I wanted to make myself more apparent on YouTube and on Twitch. I've been doing the Twitch part. I have not really been doing the YouTube part. So here's my effort to... That's true. My 15s are not a fun thing to fight against. I think the J22 is. The key 22. Once that is, I'm already marked on here. bogus the J22 is not
All right, back to the hangar we go. My sole goal is to get this plane faded out because I have yet to do. Now we got a little more research. That's for about second. Yet. And to make some lines along the way. I actually spent a lot of time where I didn't play this, and then I jumped back in at the highest tier I could go at the time frame with tanks and planes. So I figured some low tier stuff, fade out some of my past vehicles, and we will see what we can get done. Right now, I am working on the Hurricane Mark. I've gotten everything. All the American 1.0 tanks are faded out. And all but one 1.0 plane that I currently have. Oh, plane. So I'm just trying some British. I was a little tired of dealing with the tanks last night. I got left to go on the American side. It is one that's armed with main gun being held version. As always, if you folks would like to uh, leave a comment, give a like, and whatnot, will not be objective. away from this and everybody crazy ass people Yes, side climbing does limit your time of interaction with the enemy, but it gives you a chance to climb to a high enough altitude to avoid death. More likely to avoid death. Everybody else that's flying straight into the enemy, some of them are fast planes, so they can do good zoom climb. Nobody's hitting any of those bombs. Only ones who are going to climb this that fast to get to them are going to be their bombers, interceptors, to get the air spawn, the twin engine interceptors, and stuff like that. Well, that's the airfield. That was genius of me. Actually, our airfields were that close. Probably the uh, Germans and everybody else is high climbing too.
Now they all climb towards their base. Key 44 is on fire. He's going to die. Didn't really get the altitude part, but let's go in. Japanese Corsair over here. Battling it out with another hurricane. Hey, right, hurricane got killed. Or not hurricane, for sure. Pilot is not the greatest. Okay. Getting the altitude back up. Wasn't too bad. Would have loved to have gotten more kills. Just such a short map. That I, I did the side climb deal and didn't pay off. One or nine way up high, he'll probably dive on me. Gonna play it smart and zoom away. I'm gonna try and get as much altitude as I can. Headed back this way. Oh no. Engine's been hit. I'm going to take out some ground targets because I'm
right into these. Yeah, I tried. My maneuvering didn't work out. Sometimes it does. So this was not a very good fight for me. Early planes of any tier of any nation aren't always the greatest in the whole world. Um, they all have benefits. The hurricane really is a turn. First and fourth. Always will. And if anybody's interested in a squadron, looking for a squadron, there is Meiji out there. Uh, we uh, we are accepting people of rank two tanks and planes. And yeah, we do squadron realistic battles. We try to work on getting our squadron vehicles they have out there. But I don't know exactly what's special besides the fact that they're premium vehicles that you can spend special research points on and then you have to research all the individual trades as opposed to just getting them all free really and but if you're interested you have it That'll give me enough time to really climb up there and deal with anybody that. Bummer. Those of you out there just getting interested into this whole game or checking it out, see if it's interesting. One. Free to play, so they can play there. Yes, there is World of Warplanes. You can go play World of Warplanes if you are interested in arcade mode in which you can reload your game, your guns three times while in flight in order to shoot down the enemy. And your guns do a little auto tracking. This is more of a realistic simulator. I'm actually in realistic mode, not full sim mode. I do have a joystick for full sim mode. If anybody's interested, I can show you that. Just don't expect much. I'm not great at sim mode. Um, this is this game is realistic. Where the bullets hit, more or less, means that's where your damage is taken. You have somebody dive on you. They fire a short burst, miss with every bullet but one, and it comes through your canopy and hits your pilot in the head. Your plane's in perfect condition, but you're dead. At the same time, you know, they can shoot at your wingtips and all this stuff like that, and you might lose a wingtip. You can fly a plane with a wingtip. Not easy, depending on the plane, but you can. So, I like this game considerably better than World of Warplanes because realism. Did I say that one? Yeah. Alrighty. Oops. Ooh, enemy stayed low this time.
Go see some of the enemies down below. The axis for we are axis for next battle this time. AU eighty seven is above me. Gotta watch your speed and dives. Plane rolled around. The German planes are built for speed. It'll be quite hard for us to catch. Here. Pretty much maxed out on my speed. More likely to catch the JU-87 before I catch them. A P-400, however, will probably catch everybody long before I get there. In the air. But on the plus side. Really? Lost parts of my plane. And now I will go down. Uh, and now I'm a prisoner of war. Okay. I don't care if anybody.
and that'll be the Oh, so close. It'll be done once this other fight ends up, though. Well, right, there we go. I'll do a video for each vehicle that I work on spading out. And this is the video for the Hurricane 2B, Mark 2B, Tropical. Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, I hope you enjoyed the content. I'll try to get better with it. Uh, come up with some good practical advice pretty much with any game that deals with flight whether it's jets whether it's propellers whatever there's a typical idea and full-on arcade type games like ace combat which is a bad game but obviously not reloading this air uh, but um altitude is key in any engagement altitude means energy opportunity Engage. A higher speed will get away if the engagement goes against you. It also gives you the ability to try to escape. There's exceptions. A lot of the uh, or Japanese planes and a lot of the uh, British planes are not built to go really fast. If you go too fast, your wings will rip. Where German planes, American planes, Russian planes. Some of the others, uh, they're built to go up high and dive down hard and fast without ripping off the wings. Um, the ones that are really designed for speed and go as you get faster, turn you wings, the compression of the airflow, and therefore that means elevators, ailerons, rudders don't do as much turn. So Keep in that fact, I'll go through a different hurricanes, one of them turning more than um, <clears throat> later on down the tier, get some boys for the but you just gotta know how to do things, when to turn, when to engage. A lot of it is you know, I'm better at explaining when to do it. I realize when I'm helping somebody learn how to fly a plane for the and I was able to describe, hey, do this, do this. Yet I fly and I make all the mistakes I'm talking I get to into some of Zero it in. Uh, that's all I got for you this time. Let me know what you guys think, please. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will try to get more up very soon. Thank you very much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.